Introduction to Reserved Public IP Address on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure A public IP address is an IPv4 address that is reachable from the Internet. If a resource in your tenancy needs to be directly reachable from the Internet, it must have a public IP address. There are two types of public IPs. Ephemeral. Think of it as temporary and existing for the lifetime of the instance. Reserved. Think of it as persistent and existing beyond the lifetime of the instance it's assigned to. You can unassign it and then reassign it to another instance whenever you like. You can assign a public IP address to an instance to enable communication with the Internet. The instance is assigned a public IP address from the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Address Pool. To communicate directly with the Internet, all of the following are required. The instance must be in a public subnet. The instance must have a public IP address. The instance's VCN must have an Internet gateway. The public subnet must have route tables and security lists configured accordingly. Here's a quick demo of the steps involved. First, you'll need to create a public virtual cloud network or VCN. Log in to the OCI console. Navigate to the menu, select Networking, and click Virtual Cloud Networks. Click Create Virtual Cloud Network. Fill the details in the wizard. You have the option to create only the VCN or create the VCN along with the related resources. Here we will select Create Virtual Cloud Network plus Related Resources. Click Create Virtual Cloud Network. You now have a public virtual cloud network with all the appropriate resources and it should be visible in the OCI console. Here, you'll create a reserved public IP address. On the OCI console, click Networking under the menu, then Public IPs. Click Create Reserved Public IP. Fill out the dialog box and click Create Reserved Public IP. A new public IP address will be created. We now have a reserved public IP address that can be used to access different compute instances. Next, we'll create a public or private SSH key pair. These keys will be used to launch a compute instance and, later on, SSH into the compute instance. Launch Git Bash or other application to create SSH key pair. Enter the command SSH keygen in the Git Bash window. Press Enter when asked for Enter File in which to save the key, Create a Directory, Enter Passphrase, and Enter Passphrase again. Enter Command to display the public-private SSH key pair. We have the SSH key pair to launch a compute instance. Copy it and keep it handy. Now we'll create a compute instance with the public IP address using the copied public SSH key. We'll assign the reserved public IP to this compute instance. Click Create Instance. Fill out the dialog box with Name, Availability Domain, Image Operating System, Shape, Choose Paste SSH keys and paste the public key saved earlier. For Virtual Cloud Network, select the VCN you created and choose the subnet. Click Create Instance. Once the instance is in the running state, go to the Instance Details page, click Attached VNIX, and then the VNIC name. On the VNIC Details page, click the Action icon and then select Edit. In the dialog box under Public IP Address, choose Reserved Public IP. From the drop-down list, select the reserved public IP created earlier. Click Update. Note down the public IP address. Next, we will SSH into the compute instance using its public IP address and private SSH key. 
Now let's SSH into the compute instance using the reserved public IP. We created a compute instance and assigned it a public IP that was reserved in advance. Next, we will use the same public IP and assign it to a different compute instance. Before that, we must unassign the reserved public IP from the compute instance created earlier. Switch to the OCI console window. Click Compute and then your instance name. On the Instance Details page, click Attached VNIX and then the VNIC name. On the VNIC Details page, click the Action icon and then select Edit. In the dialog box under Public IP Address, choose No Public IP. Reserved public IP has now been unassigned from this compute instance. Click Update. Next, we'll create the second compute instance with a public IP address using the copied public SSH key. We'll assign the reserved public IP address to this compute instance. Click Compute from the OCI Services menu and select Instances. On the Instances page, click Create Instance. Fill out the dialog box with the required details. Enter name, availability domain, image operating system. Shape, choose paste SSH keys and paste the public key saved earlier. Select the VCN and subnet and then click Create Instance. Once the instance is in the running state, go to the Instance Details page. Click Attached VNIX and then the VNIC name. On the VNIC Details page, click the Action icon and then select Edit. In the dialog box under Public IP Address, choose Reserved Public IP. From the drop-down list, select the reserved public IP created earlier. Click Update. Now, we will SSH into the second compute instance using the same reserved public IP address that was previously assigned to a different compute instance. We will be using the same reserved public IP to SSH into two compute instances. Now, let's SSH into the compute instance using the reserved public IP. We created two different compute instances and used reserved public IP feature of OCI to successfully SSH into both. We demonstrated how we can utilize the public IP address reservation feature to provide access to different compute instances using the same public IP address, essentially changing the public IP address of the compute instances. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.